Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you're dropping a like as well and I can't thank you guys enough for the support on the channel recently. My views have been through the roof recently and the support for Cold War has been unreal. I'm going to be grinding this game so hard this year. Honestly, this is definitely going to be our year, but I don't want to ramble on too much. And I want to talk about the Milano SMG. I have gone ahead and got it gold. I did this a while back, probably in the third day of release, and I've only managed, just managed to get around to making this video uh, and just give you a general guide on how to get this gun gold, the best way to get it gold, because I'm sure a lot of you are grinding for your camos. The Milano SMG in the beta for me was a top tier weapon. It was one of the better weapons in this game as a whole. It was a very, very dominant SMG. And in the beta, it was possibly better than the MP5, which is a very, very bold statement in the full game i did feel when i first picked this up I'm not, I'm not sure if it has been nerfed or patched a little bit since then uh, but whilst i first went for this gun it seemed pretty decent it didn't seem on the same level as the mp5 but it was definitely definitely a very dominant smg in this game uh, and as I progressed through the camo challenges, uh, more so when I got into the long shots and the point blank kills, which I did leave them to last for whatever reason, I don't know, um, it struggled massively. I played hardcore for the long shots. I do that anyway every single year. I just think long shots uh, in hardcore are just obviously so much more easy to get. It is definitely a top tip when going for camos uh, to play hardcore for long shots because it obviously takes like one, two bullets to kill. Um, but the point blank kills this thing, I was getting turned on left, right, and center. This gun is so weak. Literally, I can't kill anything with it. It's literally a pea shooter, and I'm getting stressed talking about this thing. Um, because literally, I find myself losing so many gunfights, and you might even see some in this gameplay, which I did get earlier today. It's definitely not a great gameplay whatsoever. It's a very bang average gameplay. I mean, skill-based matchmaking may have a point, uh, a point to play in this, uh, but in terms of the Milano, it's very, very, very weak. It's uh, definitely not dominant, definitely not the gun I used in the beta. It was a tough weapon to use, to be honest. Uh, it, is, it took me the most amount of kills. Uh, I have the MP5 and the AK-74U gold at this present moment. The AK-74U took me around 1,000 kills. Uh, the MP5 was around 1,100 kills, but I mean, that might be tied into, obviously, when I first was playing the game, I wasn't going straight for camos. I was just using the MP5 just regularly, just enjoying the game. Uh, and the Milano, I just solely went for gold camo, same with the AK-74U. And I went around 13 to 1,400 kills with this thing. Uh, the simple fact I struggled to use it, it was, like I said, it was so, so weak. The point blank kills, I would, you know, camp in a corner as I usually would to get these point blank kills. Uh, and out of people turning on me with orgs, MP5s, M16s, all the meta weapons, this gun against meta weapons uh, doesn't stand a chance. It's, uh, you're, you're pretty much handicapping yourself using this weapon. It's a very, very difficult one. It requires a lot of patience to get gold camo. I mean, you could pick it up and really enjoy it. Uh, but for me, I mean, I'm 11 and 3 in this gameplay right now, and I was hating it whilst playing this game. Uh, I felt like I should have had such a better score. The three deaths I took were stupid deaths uh, that I definitely probably could have avoided using a meta weapon. Uh, I'm still yet to pick up the AUG and the M16, um, and a couple of the other ARs. I've only used the SMG so far in this game. Like that gunfight right there, it was just so weak. I just, I just, I don't even know. I wasn't even, I was aiming high as well. It was like chest to head, and... Uh, the headshot multiplier is uh, literally non-existent with this gun. It was very, very difficult to use. But in terms of getting this gun gold, the easiest way, I would say, obviously, you need 300 eliminations, which you'll get just by playing. 100 headshots, which you'll get just by playing. Uh, you have these stun kills, which are pretty easy to get. Uh, definitely not as easy as other weapons, like I said, because it is, uh, you know, a weak weapon and field mag uh, kills as well. Uh, it's 75 point blank kills. Uh, there was an absolute bitch that was the one that took me the longest i think point blank kills for me uh, are definitely the toughest and most frustrating challenge you literally have to be touching them and obviously if someone's using an org at that range they're just gonna one burst you mp5 is gonna outgun you uh, pretty much everything's gonna outgun you basically shotguns as well uh, literally everything is outgunning you with this this gun it definitely takes a lot of patience and lastly we have the double kills self-explanatory uh, double kills uh, very easy to get, we'll just get them while playing anyway. Uh, definitely took a lot of patience, like I have said repeatedly. Uh, so just take your time with it, be persevere with it. You know, it's not gonna be one of the quickest gold weapons you will get. Uh, but I mean, that's the road to dark matter. You know, you have, you have all these weak weapons you've got to use uh, to get the dark matter, and it's all worth it in the end. Unfortunately, this is one of them. Uh, I'm not looking forward to the KSP. Uh, that I'm not, I'm, I have not even used that weapon. I've not come across anybody using it either. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what that one's going to be like. But 
Uh, you guys might have thought I had, would have a new Town video up tonight. Obviously, we do, are getting new Town releasing at 6 p.m. UK time, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time, and um, I'm not 100% sure on the Eastern time. But uh, yeah, I was going to do a new Town video. I was going to do a double upload today, this Milano video and the new Town video. But I didn't want to rush something out for new Town and it be a half assed video, uh, something that wasn't very good to watch. Uh, my upload schedule right now is kind of tough to keep on. Uh, we're keeping up to date uh, as of right now, um, but I have to start my videos pretty early in the morning uh, and then get them up for six. Uh, my MacBook has got a very, very dodgy battery, which I have got one in order, so I'm hoping to replace the battery very soon. I did spill a full cup of coffee over it uh, and it likes to die at random moments. So I've been halfway through recording a couple of videos and the, gu uh, the gun, the laptop just dies um, and I have to start all over again. So I didn't want that to happen with recording a Nuketown video. Hope you guys do understand it will be tomorrow's video though covering Nuketown. I'm very, very excited to play it. I'm gonna be grinding it. It is double weapon XP and double XP as well. So if you are going for the dark matter, just grind your levels out, then make sure I'm capitalizing on this. It is for a full week, I do believe. I think it's all the way to the 30th. So that's gonna be Sunday or Monday. Uh, so it's, it's pretty insane. Uh, definitely be able to tick off a load of camos. I'm hoping to diamond my SMGs and I might even do the tactical rifles as well. I'm undecided what to go for. It's either the tactical rifles or the shotguns I'm gonna do. I'm tempted to do the shotguns because obviously I know we'll have the Nuketown 24-7 playlist and the point blank kills are gonna be so much easier on Nuketown. So I'm hoping to capitalize on that. Like I did say at the beginning of the video as well, the support on the channel right now for Cold War has been insane. Uh, literally, we're smashing over 200 views on nearly every single video. The only video, Cold War video I have uploaded that hasn't got 200 plus views is the Chopper Gunner video, which didn't even hit 100, but it is what it is. Obviously, you didn't like that video. You'll never see a video like that again. Uh, the support on my videos right now is just incredible. But if you guys are watching my videos, if my videos are popping up and you recommended, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I upload every single day insane Call of Duty content, news, tips, glitches, all that good stuff. So make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on them. It would re mean the world to me. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I know we can do it with your guys' support. Apart from that, guys, this has been a quick tutorial or tutorial guide on how to get the Milano Gold and my general opinions on this weapon. Uh, not the best, definitely a tedious one to do, but definitely not the worst in the game, I would say. Uh, so hopefully you guys do, did enjoy this video. Let me know how your Dark Matter grind is going, if you're grinding for it, if you're not. Uh, just let me down in the comments. Let me know if you're hyped for Nuketown as well. I am, there's gonna be a load of Nuketown videos coming later this week. It's gonna be insane. I'm gonna be grinding so, so hard. Make sure you stay tuned for more Gold Guns. I have the AK-74U video coming up next, which might be tomorrow's video with a Nuketown gameplay. We'll have to wait and see. But apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you guys are new around here, make sure you're smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you're going down below and smashing that like button as well. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.